Boop, boop. Hey, here's a question we got from Donnie in Westchester, Pennsylvania, who writes, how do I save a half-smoked cigar? Well, I just happen to have a half-smoked cigar right here with me, and I like to call these uh, morning after cigars. The reason why is, let's say you're smoking a really great cigar, and for whatever reason, you have to put it down. You never get back to it. You say, God, I really wish I could finish that cigar. Maybe it'll be okay tomorrow. So you want to save it. All right. Well, I've done this a couple of times. And uh, one thing that you should not do is um, put the cigar back in your humidor. And the reason for this, if it's not obvious, is that it's going to stink up everything. You're going to stink up your humidor or your other cigars, and you're not going to be very happy after that. So um, one other thing you can do is um, take the cigar and put it in a cigar tube, like, you know, tubos, glass or aluminum. If it fits, make sure the cigar is out, of course, put it in the tube and just let it uh, sit there overnight. The only thing is it's going to probably be a little stinky tomorrow because when you open up that tube, all that ashtray kind of smell is going to come out, but it, it shouldn't be too bad. Right? Now, one thing you should always do in every case is cut back the cigar a little bit past the ash. And the reason why you want to do that, there we go, is because you want some fresh tobacco. So the next day, you won't have all those oils and tars soaking in overnight, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wrap it up in cellophane. I make sure the cigar is completely out and I get some cellophane and I just fold the cellophane in half, like this. And instead of rolling up the whole cigar in the cellophane, I just roll it up like up to here because, you know, I don't want that stinkiness to be on the part where I'm going to have it in my mouth. And I just fold it like that and put it in there. And I'm done. And it won't stink up the house or anything like that. Another thing I do sometimes is I just leave the cigar as is in the ashtray. And the ashtray is usually in the garage because if you just leave an ashtray, it's gonna stink. So last thing is make sure it's a cigar that takes well to a relight because if you've ever had a cigar go out on you and you've relit it and it tasted bitter, well, chances are you leave it for the next day. It's, it's not gonna taste much better than that. So make sure it's a cigar that has proven that it will taste good even after several relights. And um, that's pretty much it.